Welcome everyone, Adam the Wu here, coming to you from Vancouver, Canada, here on the corner of Heatley Avenue and East Pender Street. I'm giving you those coordinates, that way later, when I show you the awesomeness of a location from this vlog, you'll be able to go on satellite view and see for yourself Google Street View, what I'm about to show you. Pardon the sleepiness in my eyes, I have just awoken here in beautiful, historic area Vancouver, Canada. And when you think of sleepiness of the eyes, I'm going to make a weird transition here. I'm going to try to tie this in. When you think of sleepiness, you think not only of dreams, but also of nightmares. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. It's the Daily Stephen King's It filming locations right here on this block all around this 360 view that I am giving you. Did you ever see the movie It? It was a mini-series. I guess you could call it a movie, but it was a mini-series. They put it out, I think, every week or every few days or every month. Back in 1990, it was written by Stephen King. I'm not really sure who directed it, but it is a terrifying movie. A lot of people in their minds, a lot of their fear of clowns probably came from the clown Pennywise, played by Tim Curry, of course from Rocky Horror Picture Show fame, but he also played Pennywise the Clown. And right up here is one of the famous scenes, Beverly Marsh's home as a child, the flashbacks of childhood, and then later on when she was older, all happened right in here. And prepare yourself for Pennywise. He was right there at that door, right there. I'll tell you about that momentarily, but just remember, Pennywise will be appearing. No, no, that's not Pennywise. That's not Pennywise. Pennywise will be showing up to that door. The thing that's really cool, a lot of this area looks exactly the same as it did in the movie, including this. This is really cool. Look at these electrical wires leading all the way down. That's actually pretty neat on its own. Take away the movie filming location aspect, but that's just cool the way that looks as well as this way. You'll notice this little alley right here was very cool because when Beverly was a child, a couple guys were trying to win over her heart and kind of a little chubby, nerdy kid, he was quoting a poem and he wrote it and gave it to the girl and she thought it was the studly little guy that she liked and it all got confused and that little moment happened right in here, the poem moment. Do you remember what the poem was? that the guy wrote down on the piece of paper, and she thought the other guy wrote, so the other guy ended up liking her too. It was a little confusing web of deceit on it. Young lovers, young kids. I think right here is the sidewalk he rode his bike down. He rode his bike right off that way. Beverly was standing right here and there as a small child. And you can see all this around us, including this right over here. Then she came back as an adult to try to find her father who died five years earlier. Oh, by one, by one more little thing I want to show you. This railing right here is the exact railing. It's just repainted red. But it's the same exact railing. And those doors right there are the same exact doors. Now they have some barbed wire up. Look at this barbed wire. Right there, barbed wire. This area of Vancouver I don't know how to say this nicely, but it's not exactly the best area in town. Right there is East Hastings. If you go down this little stretch at night, last night we played a show down the road, not exactly the creme de la creme of Vancouver, a lot of the Vancouver folk. See, this is the kind of area you want to stay wary of, not because of the people out there, but because of Pennywise. Right there is where Pennywise was. Tim Curry's character. Anyway, Beverly walked up to the door as an adult, knocked on the door, on the side of this wall over here, there was all these little names all written on here. Of course, it's all been resurfaced. So she knocked on the door. An older woman opened the door and said, Your father's been dead five years. I hate to be the one to break this news to you. Beverly went inside. The woman transferred into this creepy zombie thing, scared her. She ran out of the door. She ran into the road into here and then turned around. And that's where Pennywise, right there. Pennywise is right there. Beep, beep. And then he started doing that crazy laugh. He did that weird laugh. And then he just kind of slithered back into that exact door. Slithered into the door. Closed it. Ooh, it was so creepy and crazy. And then Beverly was standing right here. 
looked back at this right here, from this angle, all the windows were boarded up. The doors were boarded up. You can go on YouTube. A couple people have posted the entire movie. Just look up Stephen King's It on YouTube. You'll see the entire movie. It's almost three hours long, like two, minute, two hours and 56 minutes. But just rummage through it. I think about two-thirds of the way through is the dramatic scene I'm telling you about. All through it are peppered in scenes from all in here. When the kid was reading the poem, the kid rode off on his bike. You can see all this. A lot of scenes happen in here. And of course, these majestic homes are really awesome. These were all seen in the movie as well. But a lot of the action, most of the action that I'm referring to here, happened right there. So it came back to her face. She was terrified. Bah, bah. And then it went back over there. Tim Curry's Pennywise rendition. He was laughing. The boards were on the windows. Laughter emitting from Pennywise the Clown. And then it panned back to her. And she's standing right about where I am. And look at that manhole. See that manhole right there? She was standing right here. And right at her feet was a balloon. The balloon started bouncing. And you heard this weird carousel music. And right down the road, the balloon bounced off. And that particular scene came to an end right here. Ba -ba -bum -bum -bum, Pennywise the Clown. You know, in a punk band, I played the punk band Guttermouth. We played at a venue right over there last night. A little tie-in for punk rock. The band Pennywise, if you ever heard of them, they're a California band. They got pretty big. That band was based on, the name of that band came from Tim Curry's Stephen King Pennywise. So it kind of all started right here. It's a little punk rock tie-in as well as a movie tie-in. Right through those doors. That's the doors. Those are the exact doors. Yes, look at these nail slots. I'm not going to knock on those doors. We're going to have some kind of crazy zombie that ends up turning into a clown. Now look at this water right here. Look at that water down there. Probably leads to a little grate with a Pennywise clown. Where's a grate? Is there a grate around here? Look at this. That's cool. It's not really a grate. That's just a manhole seen in the shot. I was trying to see maybe... Oh. Look at this! Oh, oh, oh. Pennywise? We all float down here.